Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Please visit our blog, Excel-DashboardTemplates.com, so you're sure to get the latest charting techniques using Excel. Okay, uh, today I wanted to show you something that I use every single day. It's a must understand, must use, must know how to do it, uh, because I think it's going to save you so much time. Uh, so right here I have a set of data that goes down to the row 60,000. So there are 60,000 uh, records. Um, you'll see the count down here in the bottom right, 60,000 records. Uh, and um, have you ever wanted to select some of the data but not all of it of a really large set of data? Uh, and it's kind of tricky with your mouse um, or even with the arrow keys. Let me show you a couple techniques to save you some time. Uh, so here's our data set. And let's say I wanted to highlight from row two uh, of the returned uh, column. So I want to highlight from row two to halfway between our range. So we're going to go down to D30,001. So what I've done is I've highlighted the cell with my mouse, and I'm just going to click and drag and drag. There's 1,000. I have another 20, 28,000 to go, 27,000 to go. You can see it just takes a long, long time. And what if someone comes into my office and interrupts me, and I let go of the mouse? Um, how am I going to keep selecting that range uh, because I let go of the mouse? So it can be sort of a pain. Um, there is a great technique that you must learn, and the first one is uh, to use your control key and your shift key in combination with your arrows. And what this is going to do is allow you to select a huge range uh, quickly. When you hit the control key and the down arrow, um, so I'm up here on D1, if I hold my control key down and hit the down arrow, it is going to jump to the next section of data. Uh, where a break is. So if I hit down again, it's going to jump to the next chest. Down again, it's going to jump to the next chest. It's going to jump down two more rows or three more rows to the next chest. Then it's going to go till the next break at the bottom of all those yeses, then to the next chest. Uh, so I'm holding the control key down while hitting the down arrow. Same thing works to the right, same thing works to the left. If you hold your control key down, look, I've jumped all the way out to column IV. Uh, and if I go control down, I'm at 65,536 IV. So I'm really at the very, very bottom. Using your control key with any uh, of the other ones as well, um, the other two keys you want to use. Uh, so let me go control left, and you can see I'm over at the column A. There's no breaks, there's no data um, from column A to IV. So I'm going to go back to IV by going control right arrow. Uh, now, um, let's say I want to get back to the top leftmost portion. If I hold my control key down and hit home, I'm going to be brought up to the top leftmost of the column as long as I haven't frozen the panes. And if I hit control end, I'm going to be brought down to the uh, bottom right hand column and uh, row control end of my data. So um, I think I had copied data earlier down to row 65,535. So that's why it brought me down here thinking that the data was still there. If I control, let's see, uh, go back up. There's my, my bottom of my rows. So, uh, so Steve, you said, uh, how do I, how do you, you're having me jump around, that's fine, but how do you select a massive amount of data? Uh, well, remember, if, if I uh, hold the control key down, it's going to jump me to the next section. If I do that in conjunction with the shift key, so I'm now holding control, shift, and then my down arrow, you see it's going to keep highlighting until the next jump of data, so the next break of data, just going to keep going down, and I can highlight pretty quickly a lot of data. Uh, if I go to column C where there is no break in the data, hit control, shift, down arrow, notice I've highlighted, see down here in the right hand corner, a count of 60,000. Uh, if I hold just my shift key down, you'll see I've highlighted 59,996 rows by one column, now 60,000 rows by one column. Uh, so you can see you can uh, either go control down arrow to get to the very bottom, 
or control shift down arrow to highlight that. Now the next trick that you want to learn is to let go of the control key. So if I go control shift down arrow, I've highlighted 60,000 rows. Now I let go of the control key just holding the shift key and I am going to press individually my right arrow. You can see I'm copying column, column, column. Now I'm just going to keep holding the shift key only and then pressing the up arrow. You see I am uh, selecting less and less rows. If I go back to the left with my left arrow, I'm deselecting. And once I reach the column of data that I started at, if I keep hitting the left arrow, see now I'm going left of my column. Right of my column with my right arrow, left of my column with my left arrow. All the time holding the shift key down. Okay, so that's a great technique. So I can go over here to A2, control, shift, down arrow. Now I'm going to let go of the control key. I can even let go of the shift key. I am not holding any keys down right now. Then if I rehold the shift key and then the down arrow, you can see I can go down. I can go back up. I can go to the right, holding the shift key down the whole time, and then to the left. All right, so here's the technique that is a little difficult with the control shift. So if I do control shift, you see I'm going down. I'm just hitting the down arrow. Even if I hold it down, I'm only getting about 20 rows uh, at a time because I have so many breaks in this data. So let me show you this trick that I use a lot. If you hit your F5 key, it's going to bring up your go to dialog box. And I want to go to D. And we said we wanted to go to row 30,001. And I hit enter. It's going to bring me down to 30,001. And once again, if I do a control shift up key, it's going to take me a long time to get to 30,000 rows. Uh, so I had told you before, if we just hold the shift key down and go up or down, that's fine. Um, but if we add that in conjunction with control and then home, we're going to be brought to the very top of the data. Now I'm just holding the shift key down and I am uh, selecting and unselecting from the very top. You can see I've got 30,000 rows right now by four columns, but if I only wanted column D, I can move to the right, one, two, three, and there we have 30,000 rows by one column. So a uh, way to quickly and easily uh, select a large amount of data, uh, not using your mouse and uh, not using just the shift key. So go to wherever you want. Uh, sometimes I'm over in row uh, AZ, and I, to quickly select a column that has a lot of breaks in the data, I'll go Control, Shift, Home, and then just hold the Shift key down, go down one arrow, and then go to the right until I've selected the column of data that I want. Now I can manipulate it however I want, maybe a find and replace, copy, paste, who knows what I want to do. So hopefully these techniques are going to save you some time in selecting a range quickly within Excel. Please visit our blog, Excel-BoardTemplates.com, for our latest techniques on learning Excel. Thank you.